Welcome back to a new video. Today I will be sharing with you my November favorites and this includes a lot of stuff or a lot of stuff and I have some skincare or not skincare but makeup removing things that I've been using this month and I have some hair products and hair stuff that I want to share and the makeup that actually I love the most so every time I wanted to do a look I always went, went back to the same product so if you're interested in knowing everything that I've been loving lately then just keep watching this video thanks now I have three palettes, eyeshadow palettes that I've been using this month. Two of these palettes, the Nude Dude and the Tart one, I didn't show any tutorials. But what I did is I have my favorite combinations from Mary Kay eyeshadows. I did a video on this one that I will link in the description box. But basically what I did is in the first part of the video, I showed you the colors and the combinations and what I like to use this for. And then at the end of the video, I showed you a little demo on my favorite looks with those six eyeshadows. If you have some Mary Kay eyeshadows or if you are in the market to buy some Mary Kay eyeshadows, I would recommend you to try that those six shadows which are my go-to number one combination from Mary Kay. Then I have the Nude Dude. I got this at Kohl's as a pre-release and I have a video that of course I will link it down below but basically it shows you all the swatches. I don't have the Nude Dude so I couldn't compare one to the other and see how similar or different they are. So if you do have that one and you are wondering if this is worth trying or if it's similar at all, then check that video which you'll see a lot you know, of swatches and kind of my first impression on this. Having said that, the combination of this is very warm or the combination that I've been using the most is very warm and very wearable, just right up my alley. I love this palette. It's more creamy than the Meat Matte Nude or the Meat Matte. The formulation, I think it's much better in this palette than in the other ones. So I really, that was a really nice surprise. And then the other one that I've been using so much is the Tarte Bon Voyage palette. This is pretty, it has very wearable shades and I got it because I don't wanna store this palette for the rest of the year. And this is one of those palettes that I thought I would wear a lot. I have my favorite combination with this one. So what I will do in the month of December is do my favorite combination of these two palettes in the first part of the video and then I'll do a short demo in how I apply them to my lids so in case you like the combination you know how to apply them in case you do have these palettes in your collection now I have another kit and this is the Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot Box of Blushes uh, if you're thinking about getting a set and you want blushes I would say go ahead and get this one this is so Great, I love this. The bronzer it's amazing for contouring even for my NC35 color. I do contour with that and I think it gives you a very subtle contour but define at the same time. The blushes, they blend into your skin and they make you, they, they look like you are on a movie set uh, and that you did your makeup with a makeup artist. I mean, that's how well this blends into your skin. It's effortlessly, it's not the pigmented kind that you have to blend a lot. This is build your color according to your taste. And I do love this. I just didn't have any desire to use any other of my old blushes in my collection. Now, for the days that I was in a hurry and I didn't have time to apply my makeup at home, I would take this blush with me. This is the Tarte Cheek Stain in the color Muse. This looks uh, completely different in the container and then once you swatch it, it looks so different. I love to use this you know, whenever I didn't wear makeup but I did want to you know do something in the car something quick I would take this and just kind of blend it with my fingers and it looks so pretty it doesn't really show on camera because it's very subtle but in the real life it's like that perfect blush that you need so you have blush but people don't even notice this blush it just looks like a nice flush in your cheeks so my favorite mascara combination of the month is the covergirl lash perfection which I think it has been discontinued but if you see it or if you have it in your makeup collection 
use it, try it once again, but now combine it with the clump crusher. What I've been doing is applying the clump crusher, maybe a couple of coats and then wait and before it dries completely apply the lash perfection and then go back to the clump crusher. There is something in between this mix that makes your lashes look like falsies. If you have long lashes, this it's going to replace falsies. My experience with this, I have just short stubby lashes, but with the clump crusher, the curl stays on all day. With the lash perfection, they define. So I feel like they're defined and curled all day long. The only thing that I could say that I don't like about this combination is if you cry, they're gonna clump together and you'll be you'll have to remove the mascara because there's no way around that. You can't really separate your lashes after they're wet. And I think it's just because they're not waterproof, but definitely worth a shot. This combination has been amazing for me. So thanks to my friend here in YouTube, Mayola, she introduced me to the Wet n Wild lipsticks and I love them. I've been obsessed over, I've been obsessing over matte lipsticks since the Maybelline new line came out and I couldn't find all the colors. I got frustrated. I went to Walgreens and I got this lipsticks because yeah, they're matte. Uh, the one thing I should say, they're kind of drying, but if you use a lip balm underneath, I mean, I, I can still do it. This is the color Cherry Bomb. It's very vampy and pretty. I just love that color. I had this in my Walgreens haul or Walgreens and Kohl's haul and just, I think it enhances my skin tone in the perfect way. Just love it. And then I found the perfect red. This is Stop Light Red and that's how it looks like. This is pretty. And once again, if you apply a lip balm, they're very comfortable to wear. And the look that they give me is just so nice and I really enjoy these colors. I mean, I like all the colors that I got, but these two have been the ones that I've been using the most this past month. The foundation that I use for the entire month and I can't get enough of this foundation is the Coco Powder Foundation by Too Faced. I have a full review on this that I will leave in the description box. I'm not gonna go into detail about this foundation because I did like a 16 minute video talking about every single detail on this foundation. What do you need to use? Do you need a primer? Do you need a concealer? Do you need, when do you need to apply the concealer? Everything I went through in that video, but just so you know, this was the most used foundation in the month of November. Hair products, I have one and then a tool that I've been loving. The first one is the Garnier Fructis, Fructis Style Slick and Shine Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk. This is an instant smoothing and freeze control. I use this after I get out of the shower. If I'm gonna uh, strain my hair like last night, I usually just um, take a shower and then when and I once I have my hair still wet, I, I get rid of all of the frizz and then by the next morning, my hair is not styled, but it's not freezy so I can use my flat iron without having to do anything or apply any other products to my hair and then on top of that I don't know if you like the Garnier smell but I love it and my hair smells just like this right now. Another thing that I really enjoy is this one. This is by Remington. It doesn't have a name or anything, which is kind of weird, but I got this with a gift card that I got for my birthday. I will leave those videos down below in case you're new to my channel. A lot of people told me that they don't know how to use it to create the more effortless kind of curl that we all want and sometimes in our lives and you know I love curls, tight curls, but sometimes I want waves and this is what I use for waves. I will do that tutorial this next week and show you how I use it. That's why I wash my hair and now it's straight. So maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I can show you how to curl your hair with this now one. For skincare, I have, oh well not skincare, but makeup removing routine at night. I have two products. The first one is the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. This is awesome. It's uh, just as good as the Mary Kay one, but this won't leave you with that greasy sensation after afterward. If you try the Mary Kay one, you know it's amazing, but it leaves like a, some kind of oily residue behind that usually I used to just rinse before I apply my eye cream because I thought it didn't absorb quite right. With that one, with this one, it feels like you just remove your makeup with water. You don't have to tug your eyes. It's just, just one swipe and it removes everything. I went to Sephora to get either the oil or the milk for removing my makeup at night, but I couldn't find them and I found this triple action cleansing water. 
This is amazing. I've used it for the entire month and look how much I just you know it, it's not too much because you need the tiniest amount it's nice to do like a nice experiment every night and see where your foundation rubs off first or where do you have less foundation at the end of the day i just love that product another thing that i've been using for my skin is the tarte maracuja oil this i got this in my tarte set but i also got another one in my ipsy and i think another one it's coming or no something is coming from tarte in this december bag as well this got me hooked. I have another oil, which is the Argan oil, and that one takes an hour to be absorbed by my skin. And I don't have an hour to spare in the mornings, so I've been using this one instead. It kind of goes into your skin right away, and it gives you like a natural glow. Like you just exfoliated your skin without exfoliating. That's how, it, how I can explain this. This brings back life into my skin and I've just been obsessing over it. Now I have a couple of random things and the first one is the E25 Body Sigma. They didn't send me this, I bought this myself. I wanted to try and see if it was anything different from other blending brushes and I love this. I actually lost it for two or three days and I thought I needed to order a new one or cry over it because I can't blend my eyeshadows as fast with other uh, blending brushes that I have in my collection as like with this one. <laughs> this is different. I will go into detail and compare with other brushes that I have in my collection. They're kind of similar and we'll go through the differences and why is it worth trying. And lastly, my pump from Amazon. This is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Foundation and it has a really bad pump so i put it in this one it also helps me feel like a little bit more accomplished while i'm going up because it's airless also i like this because the pump it's really nice and it pumps just the right amount it's not too much so you can add more without having to throw away product just because the pump pumps up too much too much product so love this i will leave the link down below it was four dollars with shipping included so i'm like this is nonsense you need one of these in your lives if you have some foundations that are kind of pale or light and you have some darker ones and you want to mix them and create your perfect shade this is the way to go well girls that was it i've been trying to film this video for the third time today the light is going away but hopefully I can still manage to upload this video tonight. Anyways, I um, November has been hard. I didn't end up doing a lot of the videos that I needed to get done in the month of November just because I didn't feel like filming. I usually need to be excited about filming to create a video. I can't just, you know, sit here and be like, oh, I don't want to film and create a video because then when I start to edit, I don't like the content so I usually delete those kind of videos so I understood that I need to be excited over something to create a video and today I'm excited it's just that there's something up with the weather and I can make my light well it's a long story that I'm not gonna go into it but I really appreciate that you stay with me until the end of this video I hope you had a wonderful November I hope that December comes and that it's gonna be a wonderful month for all of us and that we're gonna enjoy this amazing time of the year that I really enjoy so so much each and every year so thank you for watching I hope you come back on Monday for my weekly makeup basket and I'll see you in my next video you can love me but I know no that she loves me that's all all matters to me. We can all be family. Marry that girl, find a leg. I'm a business, and it right.